for the sake of healing. Sometimes people got here. They rejoice a lot and they worship the spirits. Not only the people approach the high priest for healing, before they do everything, they will go to the high priest and offer some sacrifices, something like pigs, chicken, or egg to prosper in their family. Then the priests will predict the, their future, whether they will be prosper or they will lack of food for the entire year. <laughs> Sometimes the priests will predict by seeing and examining the inner part of some super false animal. Therefore, when somebody is sick, the family must sacrifice chicken to the spirit for healing. The, the, the father of the house will bring chicken. During those times, there were no transportation like cars or motorbike. Therefore, people themselves will carry the sick person to the high priest. This time, the, the signal doesn't seem to The priest will surrender so easily because the people, the entire community, have trusted him. Seems he cannot do anything. For the same person. <laughs> All their hope was in the high priest. If the high priest can't do anything for healing. This time, person, situation gets worse and worse. It was the time when Michelin was arrived to the land. 
because they never seen missionary white white people in their community. They will announce that tonight we'll gather together and white guy without leg is coming to our village and we will have words, we will have meeting. The missionary was taken by the family who has that whose daughter was seen. It was the opportunity that the missionary go to pray for the sick person. Praise God, their daughter was healed. Therefore, the family got so excited and so impressed by the missionary and they, they were so amazed and they asked him, by what power you, you heal our daughter? And then the, daughter, the missionary got to explain them, it is not by my, my power, but it is by Jesus Christ who loves us and saves us. However, the arrival of missionary brought the submission among the society. The high priest and his fellow were so angry. <laughs>
to praise God. And the worshiping God was their daily life. To the night, they no longer need to sacrifice any sacrificial to the spirits to please them. However, they will their life become lightened by the gospel. In 1899, when first missionary was arrived, there were no Christian. Today, there are numerous churches. And over 90% of children process to be Christian. The persons give their life that children might know Christ and his testament many power to save. In Myanmar, where in the life of people have dug in by enemies, practice and ritual for so many decades. Today, through the life of missionaries or through the people of God, there are thousands of churches has been established and the number of Christianity has reached 1.65 million. This is the story of the power of the gospel has lightened on the life of people in Myanmar. We thank you. for sharing the wonderful story of how they became Christians. Thank you to the missionaries. I'm here in Hudson, right? I admire the priest. Please stay with you. <laughs> Are you still there? Yeah. Oh. Uh, okay. Okay, the next presenter is a group of nations and we put them all together because they're amazing and unique and we call them the Continentals.
Lord. The countries represented there are Gambia, Papua New Guinea, Samoa, and Western Samoa. We have America, um, Philippines, <laughs> Bhutan, yeah, yeah. And sorry if you forgot your country. So, yeah. We are down to our last presentation, yes. but before that, we want to acknowledge and we want to thank. Yeah. yeah, the people, our friends from Vision Works, yes. can we give them a round of applause? Thank you. For a wonderful Yeah, you know, I can sit in this microphone and I'll sing well. You know? <laughs> Thank you, Vision Works. Now, before we go to our last presentation, our dear president is going to give us a special message, a challenge to all of us. Let's welcome, welcome. President Pablo. Thank you. Thank you. First of all, uh, this must be my. I think 15th general, uh, general council, uh, <laughs> uh, 15. It feels like general council, you know? <laughs> 15th missions convention at APTS. Uh, but this year it's quite unique because it's almost totally le uh, led by a group of students. Uh, I'm the interim uh, GMC director. My department handles this uh, uh, missions convention. But the student council has really done all the work. I'd like to have the student council members come up here because I really want to acknowledge you here. Thank you for the student council members. The student council president, Ali. Yeah, and uh, that's a wise honor. The secretary, I, I heard that she's also referred to as Congresswoman Sarah. <laughs> <laughs> the treasurer uh, Angela, and this is the vice president uh, uh, Ambrose from Pakistan, from uh, American Samoa, from Philippines, and from China. <laughs> I'm going to ask them to stand here. I'm not sure. I see quite a lot of other people that have helped you. You like? Do you want to acknowledge some of them? Um, I want to acknowledge the. Um Decorations team, um, Eunice, uh, Tani, Benignal, James. As you know, you've helped. Thank you. And also the staff, uh, the maintenance, you've helped us with all of this. And, yeah. I'm going to pray for them. We're going to stay here. But I think uh, I want to pray for some of you too. You saw the skit a moment ago about what happened in Myanmar. The Bible says when we preach the gospel, signs and wonders will follow the preaching of our gospel. And tonight, if you have come here with a need, you need a miracle. As we preach the gospel, the Bible says signs and wonders will follow the preaching of the gospel. I'm going to believe the Lord that a miracle will happen here tonight. Let's all stand together. I don't know what your needs are. Uh, some of you are coming here to ABTS for the very first time. You've never been to our campus. This is the first time you've entered into our campus. Uh, we want to thank God for people coming from all over the world. I come from Malaysia. You've seen some of the students from Myanmar, some of the students from the islands, others from China, from Japan, from Korea, from all over the world. These are people that have committed their lives to preach the gospel, the good news. And the Bible promises as we preach the good news, signs and wonders will follow. And tonight, if you need a special miracle in your life, these folks here want to pray for you and bless you. And we're going to believe together that God is going to touch you and bless you. How many of you want a special blessing tonight. Raise your hand. Raise your hand. That's right. Raise your hand. You say, I want, I want God to heal me. In fact, uh, yesterday night, somebody came to our service and said, please pray for my mother. Please pray for my cousin. Both of them are suffering from cancer. The Lord brought him all the way from China. First time to our campus. Yesterday night, I prayed with him. Tonight he's here, I saw him during dinner, and I'm sure he's going to come out again. Because we're going to pray with him again and believe God to bring healing to his family. 
Those of you who raise your hands, I'd like you to come forward to the front. And the folks here as well as the missionaries here will pray for you. Just come. That's right. Just come. Just start coming. Just come. And we're going to believe God for a miracle for you. Hallelujah. 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 Just come. If you are seeking God for a miracle, just come. Anyone else? I saw many hands. Yes, those of you at the back, I saw you raise your hands. Just come. Hallelujah. I recognize some of these folks because this is the first time they're coming up to an altar. I like some of the missionaries to come around them. Pray with them. Hallelujah. 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 Are there others? Just come. Those of you who are students here, you've brought your friends, you've invited them to come. I'd like you to, if you see them here, I'd like you to come and join them in front too. Pray with them. Hallelujah. Believe God for a miracle for their lives. The Bible promises the signs and wonders will follow the preaching of the good news. Let's believe them. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. hallelujah. People are still trying to make their way up to the front. And uh, if you're a missionary or if you're a student here, and, uh, you see someone here um, who's not from the community, first time here, I'd like you to make sure you stand with that person. Um, pray with that person. Make sure everyone has someone standing next to that person. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Find someone that you can pray with. Let the Holy Spirit lead you and guide you. Just stand with someone. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Perhaps that person has come here for the first time, saw the presentations, couldn't understand everything completely, but just felt, just felt that something has happened in their heart. Maybe we can pray with that person. And help that person come to know Jesus as Lord and Savior. Some of the students can go around and just pray for people. Hallelujah. Heavenly Father, I, I pray for all of these folks who have come with very simple faith, believing that you can provide a miracle for them. You are able because you are Lord God Almighty. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord, that we can come to know you through Jesus Christ. 
that because of the work of Jesus Christ on the cross, we can receive healing. We can receive salvation. Thank you because of the cross, we can have our name registered in the Lamb's book of life. Thank you, Lord, for everything that you prepared for us in heaven. I ask, Lord, that this, this tonight, what happened tonight in the hearts of our friends here, I pray that you will let it be like a seed. Uh, you will grow, you will bear fruit. Some have come with very specific requests. Prayer for healing for themselves and for their family members. Lord, bring healing. Touch them. Touch them. Some have come because they need provision. I pray that you provide for them. Miraculously, Lord. Some have come because they are lost. They are needing direction. I pray, Holy Spirit, that you will guide them. Help them. Clarify their next step for them. Some have come, Lord, because they are trapped in a certain situation. Lord, I pray that you bring deliverance, bring freedom into their lives, bring liberty into their lives. Some have come because there are relationship problems in the family. I pray, Lord, your peace and harmony will come into your family. Lord, I pray for whatever miracle that you're asking for, that it will come to pass. Hallelujah. Because all things are possible to you. We just believe you by simple faith. We come to you. We ask that you will just touch our families, our loved ones, and ourselves, Lord, wherever the need may be. I pray that you meet us at our point of need. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We praise you. We give all glory to you. Let's just raise our voices for a few minutes. Let's, by faith, let's thank God for what we have received, what we are about to receive. Hallelujah. 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 Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you. Please go back to your seats. I want you to go back with faith in your heart. I want you to remember tonight because the Lord has done something in your life. A few years ago, someone came for such a prayer time. And a few months later, after that prayer time, that person shared a testimony of how the Lord provided a miracle for him, for her rather. Tonight, God can do the same for you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want you to continue believing. Up there is our prayer mountain. And if you are believing God for a miracle, I invite you to come and use our prayer mountain. Come regularly. Come and pray for yourself. Come and pray for others. Believe God for a miracle for your life. We believe in a miracle working God. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. How many of you are here for the first time in our campus? Raise your hands. Wow, first time. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Well, welcome to NPPS. Uh, and I pray that uh, you will have more opportunities to come and participate in some of our events. And uh, some of you, I know, uh, you are Bagel residents, you have businesses, you have whatever, and you may meet some of our students. Uh, and if you need prayer uh, to bless your business, to bless your family, you need a church to attend. Uh, some of the students around here, they attend church. They pastor churches. You may want to check with them uh, and see and find a church that you can attend. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Well, uh, uh, Mr. and Mrs. Timania, uh, please come. Thank you for that. Uh, President Tanwan, Pastor Tanwan. Wow. Thank you, sir. Oh, I, I was so blessed. I received Amen. a miracle. Amen. 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 And I think the best miracle, you know, one of the best miracles is to see all of you, all of us here. We come from different nations, different nationalities, different 
ethnicities, and yet we're here together. The only reason we're here is because of Jesus. Amen. That is a miracle. Look at the person beside you and say, you're a miracle. You're a miracle. <laughs> yes. We are down to our last performer. Yes. So join us in cheering for our friends, the Continentals, once again.
Yeah. Just come. All of you are invited. Yeah. Uh, so. Okay. Just come. Hey, buddy, 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 buddy. Uh, come, come quickly. Uh, buddy, buddy. 